Designing and printing my sculptures has been a huge joy. No one in the comments will say anything about how much of a waste this plastic is. I love making tutorials on how to 3D print and mix different types of resins. Imagine how much fossil fuels it takes to get things made in China shipped over here. I have an art business that doesn't ship anything. I wish I didn't have to use supports, but over the year, this is all the supports I've collected. In the comments, it'll be like, wow, great, more plastic to end up in their oceans. The supports I use are like little scaffolds. I do my best to optimize my support settings to use less. Let me show you what I've been trying to do with it. Let's grab a silicone mold from the box of my logo Stealthy the Emo Ghost. This light jade is pretty boring. Let's add some sprinkle balls. Smooth cast has been great, but let's experiment with something new. Tabletop epoxy. It's not made for what we're gonna do, but we're gonna do what we wanna do with it. I put it into smaller bottles labeled B and A. It's a one-to-one -one ratio, so equal A equal B. Make sure to follow the instructions on the side. I'm not gonna do that. This is a silicone mixing cup. Nothing will stick to it. Part A is a little bit more viscous, very much like corn fructose syrup. Part B is a little bit more runny. I give it a good mix with the popsicle stick. This stirring process caused a heck of a lot of bubbles. I have an idea to fix that issue. I'm gonna use a vacuum. I have an electric pump hooked up to a hose to the cover, which will pull out all of the air and oxygen and gases. After a few minutes, the foaming intensified in the liquid. This is where I let the pressure out. I mean, in. That was a waste of time in the vacuum chamber. It didn't do anything. We're gonna pour this creamy, foamy, off-white frothiness into the mold. Je mange mousse mousse mousse. It's hard to see, but the tiny little balls are peeking through. But it looks so cool. It looks edible, doesn't it? I had some extra, so I put them into this other silicone mold. Funfetti is the best flavor of cake. Facts. I'm not even sure if this is gonna work, because it's made for tables. The bottle says use a butane torch to torch the bubbles out. The instruction says wait 72 hours for it to fully harden. 16 hours have passed, let's remove it from the mold. Wow, these rectangles came out amazing. They're totally hard. They have recycled supports inside and little colorful balls. They are so cool. I have no idea what I'm going to do with them, but I'm glad I made them. Overnight, it lost about 72.9% of its frothiness. The face didn't make it because I tried using jewelry UV reactive resin. I cured the face inside the mold, pulled it off, and cured it back onto the mold. After all of that, now we have this wonderful creation. Guaranteed this video changed no one's mind and this is still trashed and might end up in the ocean.